Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to discuss uh, about building a mid-range gaming computer for about 55,000 rupees. That's approximately about 1,000 US dollars. Uh, and you'll right away ask that why this 55,000 Indian rupees instead of 50,000. The reason for that is that uh, the dollar price is right now at an all time high. So we'll be paying a lot more for all the components. For example, uh, we'll be paying approximately 10 to 15% more for every component. Hence, what we would have got a couple of months back for a 50K system, we'll not even get it for about 55,000K system. Again, I'm quoting all the prices in Indian rupees but to get a dollar price just divide that by uh, 50. The main aim of having this uh, mid-range gaming system is not to have the highest end uh, gaming rig but this uh, rig should be able to play uh, all the latest uh, PC games uh, at uh, full HD that's 1080p resolution with the graphic level set at high. I'm assuming that you already have a monitor, keyboard, mouse and a sound setup so I won't be including these components here. The first thing is the processor and for that we'll be going with an Intel i5 processor and we'll be going with a 2500K model. Uh, do notice that I'm using the K model. If you're not an overclocker, you can go with the 2500 regular model. Uh, th that is slightly uh, uh, less. The approximate pricing for uh, Intel i5 2500K is approximately about 13,000 rupees. For the motherboard, I'll be going with the Intel uh, Z68 based chipset. And with the Z68 chipset, we get all the good things uh, like USB 2, USB 3 support, SATA 2 and even SATA 3 support. Uh, if you're not an overclocker and if you have chose the 2500 uh, base processor, just go with the Intel based Z68 based chipset because it's quite cheap at approximately about 8000 rupees. Uh, but if you are an overclocker, you go with the OSIS or the Gigabyte model. For the OSIS, you can look at the OSIS P8 Z68 VLE model. This is approximately about 11 to 12,000 rupees. Uh, if you are into a Hackintosh, go with the Gigabyte board. I personally am using a Gigabyte board because a Hackintosh is really important for me. Next, the most important thing in a gaming rig is the uh, GPU, the graphic card. And for this, I'm giving you two choices. One is with the NVIDIA and another for the ATI. For the NVIDIA, go with the 560 uh, Ti based card and go with the OSIS or a MSI brand. And if you're looking for an ATI card, go with the 6870, again with the OSIS one or a MSI. Again, a 1 GB card is more than enough, And but look for the memory type DDR5. For the hard drive, uh, right now the hard drive pricing is pretty uh, high, but uh, we'll go with the one terabyte hard drive. That is approximately at about uh, 5,500 rupees. Next comes the RAM and for RAM we'll go with the 8 GB RAM. I, uh, strictly speaking even 4 GB RAM is more than enough but RAM is pretty cheap. So we'll be going with the 8 GB RAM and look for uh, 1600 megahertz RAM uh, and look for reputed brands like Corsair or Kingston. And this should cost you about 3000 rupees. Next is the cabinet. You have a lot of choices for the cabinet so you can choose what you like. But you can also go with the Cooler Master 692 plus cabinet then this should cost you about 5000 rupees. This uh, cabinet uh, provides uh, ample expandability and has good airflow. And uh, next comes the uh, power supply that's the PSU and for this uh, system a 500 watt PSU will be more than enough. And for the SMPS PSU look for repeated brands like Corsair, Antec or Sasonic. And this should cost approximately about 3500 to 4000 rupees. So here are all the components uh, for this system. And here is the entire config at a glance. So it costs us about 56,000 Indian rupees or about 910 US dollars. Let's say you have an extra budget of about $100 or 5,000 rupees more. What would you do? I would strongly suggest that you go and buy an entry level SSD. You can get approximately about 60 GB SSD for about $100 and adding a SSD to the system will make the overall system highly responsive. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, please click on the like button given up, uh, below. You can also subscribe to my channel for free by clicking on the subscribe button given above. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.